This week on Sport Fishing, we're traveling north, up to beautiful Alaska. I always love coming up here, and today we'll be fishing with some friends of ours out of their lodge at Deep Creek Fishing Club. Coming to Alaska is always an adventure. You never know what you're gonna catch, but you're always gonna see great wildlife, experience some halibut fishing, and everything else is a boat. I love coming up to Alaska. Well, today we're up in beautiful Alaska, and standing next to me is Steve. He's the owner of Deep Creek Fishing Club here in beautiful Alaska. And what part of Alaska are we in? We're in Anilchik, Alaska. It's called okay. Russian Fishing Village. Welcome to here. Thank you, man. And today's episode, we're going to go out and look for some halibut, salmon, maybe even a rockfish or two. You never know what to expect. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez and I live to fish. That's a nice vermilion right there. Yeah, this is what fishing's like. I have been fishing along the Pacific coast my entire life. Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. We're uh, fishing for shallow water rockfish in 80 feet of water. Catching nice solid black rock bass on little swim baits. Light line, lots of fun. There he is. Second. Rockfish. <laughs> Look at that bass. <laughs> Quality. All right. What we came here for. Yeah. Found him. Bring on. Winning. Wrong side of the boat though. Only but. 90 more to catch. <laughs> Tiger. 20 each? New regulations. <laughs> Where's color? I don't see color. Color, no color. I'm already past the leader. There's a sinker. It's a little halibut. 15. 
If I was in LA, I'd be happy with this. Here's my little halibut. My first halibut of the trip. When he's got control of this little little guy, we're gonna release it. Now, if we were back home in LA, this would be a monster fish. It'd probably win jackpot. But here in Alaska, it's just a baby. Start sinking line, don't reel. This is Glenn. He's out fishing with us today. Right. Steve and me, one of his regular clients. And uh, we came out and joined him today. He's got a fish going. We're hoping it's a nice halibut, but you never know. And we've only been fishing for a little while here. We just anchored up. We're still a little early. It's not quite the time we want to be fishing. According to our skipper, he wants the current to switch a little bit, the current to slow down, and we still have a pretty ripping current right now. But we got lines in the water, and it looks like we got a fish going right now. Fish on! Woo! See how big he is. Go, 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 get away. Come on. Here, here he is. 100 pounder. Go, get on the other side. Go. There you go. Oh, he's big. Oh, I wish I could get a picture of that. Here, stop, 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 stop. At least to me. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, no. He's going to be causing problems. There's your 100 pounder. Winning. Nice. Start on them now. Now we got ears in. Wide open. Ready? We're gonna flop them on yep. the back of the box. Oh! Oh! It's <laughs> oh you have a new record now for a big fish. Yeah. Good job, Glenn. Yeah! Woo! We're out here in the Cook Inlet and we're uh, fishing for the big halibut today. We've got the octopus and the herring and uh, the gamagatsu hook and the lingren hook on here and some ganyan and uh, we're gonna be catching some big halibut today. Uh, the way I like to fish for these big fish, Dan, is to uh, uh, free spool them. Give them some line. And this current, we don't really do it that way. We'll kind of hold them straight. But as soon as the current slows down again, we want to open them up and they'll run 100 yards and they'll always stop. A halibut will never spool you. It'll take these great big baits and it'll run out. It won't be hooked and then we'll let it chew into the baits. So they catch uh, 30 million pounds of halibut a year. Nobody sets the hook, all these commercial guys. They will not let it go, uh, uh, go of the bait until they feel the pressure of the line. So smaller fish will reel right away and the circle hook will set the hook, but the great big ones, the mouths are huge, they're very bony. I like to hook them in the stomach. So let the baits all get all the way down in there. And then, so you have to have some patience. Um, everybody thinks they're on, but they're really not on. They're just holding the, the baits in the mouth and they'll try to set the hook or throw the drag up. And then uh, the fish will, you know, the baits will pop out every time. So it's really important on the big fish. You'll get all the small fish if you reel on them right away but you'll miss most of the really big ones. Also, unless you bend the hooks out, a 200 pounder's jawbone is much bigger than this. Mm -hmm. And so you, like a 300 pounder, this will get around the jawbone just barely. That's how big the jawbone is on it. So a lot of people will get these big bites and just constantly, the fish will be down there and you won't be able to hook them exactly. But if this gets down on the side of a halibut's stomach, it's yeah, done. It's done. Yeah. It's done. So this is what I've always used. It's really great. What pound liter is this? This should be 400 pound test uh, floral. That's what we're using today. Uh, we're using different, a few different brands. This is probably Seaguar, and uh, this one here needs a little bit. But yeah, 400 pound test floral is really good. We're using uh, 800 pound test more and more, but this seems to be working better. So. There you go. Cool. The Pacific halibut is the largest of all the halibuts found on the Pacific coast. They have a diamond-shaped body, which is quite different than the California halibut. And these things are large. They can grow up to 500 pounds 
and grow to lengths of over eight feet long. Pacific halibut is a very aggressive fish and eats all kinds of small bait fish, including octopus, crabs, and clams. This is Whitney. You guys might recognize her from Pacific Dawn. First time I met her, she was a cook on there. Now she's a deckhand up here in Alaska. And why don't you explain to the viewers what you're going to be doing? Uh, we're dropping down our halibut rigs. We got a nice dolly on here today, five pounds of lead. And uh, our current's ripping a little bit right now, so we're going to let these down nice and slow. Let everything sit on the bottom. Get the sand out there and get some fish on the boat today. That's what we're doing. This is my second year here at Deep Creek Lodge. I came here in September last year, now it's in June. It's incredible service here, great staff. We do fly outs, usually I do a fly out while I'm here and do some great salmon fishing. And we catch big fish. Oh, yeah. This is good. All right, this is where it gets exciting, everyone. All right, we'll pull on them on. There you go, there's color on yours. Yeah. Yeah, good. Apparently, right. I'm not the only one catching chickens. <laughs> It's a lot smaller than I expected. I thought only I was allowed to catch those. I got yeah, a fish going. Leave the octopus with him. He gets a snack. Alright, How's it feel? Nice one? I saw it take some line there. Yeah, it hit pretty hard. So with these two-speed reels, you just have to wind nice and easy. You know, nice and easy. They go nice and slow. You don't want to pull too hard. Yeah. Got a little current going here. You don't want to come unbutton like that big one did earlier. That big one just ate right through the line. I know. Oh, well, it's a little bit bigger. Can help me. Somebody can help me. Put the box over. It's open. I got a free spool. Oh, Brad! Another gal. Oh, it's not that small. Yeah! 50 right. pounder. Nice one. This Don't is forget. turned into an impressive box. Yeah. About 300 pounds of fish in there right now. At half least. Box. A lot of fish in there. It's a halibut. It's, it's a halibut. I'm only bringing up an extra 20 pounds of weight. That's so nice. I didn't want to say anything. Thanks. You're kind of ruining your mojo. You take a step back from me. Thank you. He was hungry. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Got another fish going here. Just a beautiful day. Got a volcano over here. More snow-capped mountains there. Island over here. Glaciers in front of me. Probably have about 300 pounds of fish in the box already. And this might be my big fish of the day. Ooh, this could be a hundred pounder. Make a run, let it run, for real. Nice and slow. Nice and tight, nice and tight. Yeah, now come coach me. Nice, Peter Hernandez is at the rail. <laughs> Stacking them and stacking them. I'm in low gear. Loading the, loading the deck up. Low speed Hernandez is at the rail. <laughs> <laughs> hey, low speed, how's it going? Not bad. All right. 
I know what you all are thinking at home. Poor Dan, he's in Alaska, out here in the middle of nowhere, battling probably a 50 to 100 pound halibut. But it's what I do. It's a job, a career. Some, somebody's gotta do it. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. It's a cod is cod. Bigger cod. Bait. Oh no, it's a skate. But it's a nice one. Got, got, got it. I got it though. The camera is probably out of the move a little bit. Some more meat. Nice. Now we're fishing for the boxes now. That'll equal about 30 little rockfish. Let's get another one. This is one of the other lodge favorites. It's blackened halibut, and the halibut are just plentiful uh, around these waters. Uh, we had somebody just last week that cost caught a 190 pound halibut. It was uh, pretty incredible to see that. But we're going to do a blackened halibut. It's the easiest uh, way to cook a fish you could ever imagine. We've got these beautiful pieces of uh, fresh halibut that were just freshly caught. I coat them with a little bit of butter. Just toss them in butter. And then I got a mixture of uh, blackening spices. I use some Creole spices with extra ginger and a little cocoa powder. That's my kind of secret there. And I coat the halibut well and then kind of pat it in. And I have a cast iron skillet over here that is molten hot. You can see as soon as it hits the skillet, it sizzles and it starts blackening and charring. And the secret is to just wait until it is completely done on one side and it will release itself. You can see it's not, it's sticking there so it's not ready to come off yet. When it's, uh, when it's ready it will come out easily. Okay, now it's ready to flip. See the nice blackening? And my secret is I take a lid or in this pan I take a pizza pan and I help it along by steaming it and that helps the char flavor go into the meat of the fish itself and it also helps to cook it without uh, a completely burning both sides. Okay, so this looks like it's just about ready to come off. Nice and flaky, just perfect. Put a few lemon slices. I always like to put fresh herbs on my plate. another slice of lemon. And the piece de resistance, these are flowers that grow right on our windowsill. And there you have it, blackened halibut. Bon appetit. I just got bit right now. Steve started pulling on it a little bit. Do we want to call the other boat? Is it that good? I got a fish yeah. going. You got a fish going? I got a fish going. 22 pounder. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's wrapped with that other rod though. I feel lined. Oh. Oh, 
feel lying. Finally, I'm on the board, and uh, Whitney's getting the hook out of my fish. What do you think this one goes? What, 60? 60? 60. 65, yeah, it's a nice 16. bad batch. Yeah, they actually have a little, they couldn't put all over, and then one swipe, swoop. It wasn't coming over in one swoop. So Steve says it's 60, I'll go with 75. There you go. <laughs> a lot bigger than I can catch at home, that's for sure. There you go. So the fish I caught right here at the white side up, that fish is around 60 pounds. Then we have a little bit smaller one, about 50 pounds below that. And then on the very bottom, we have that fish over 100. So it's pretty good. Thanks, Steve. Having a fun time. All right, great. Rack them and stack them, baby. Let's get the lines done with some more. All right, we're going to try to get another one before we head in. But we're going to take a little break from the action. And when we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. Thanks. Yeah. For this week's tip of the week, I'm not going to give you a tip. The big tip is you need to come up here to Alaska and come fish with Steve. And Steve, name your resort? Deep Creek Fishing Club. Milton Deep Creek Club. Fishing Club up here in Alaska. Beautiful place. Quality fish. We had a great time fishing today. Glenn, Whitney, Steve, we had a great time. Just beautiful, beautiful scenery and awesome fishing. No fishing pressure. All by ourselves all day. And just some of the fish we caught today. We limited out for the three of us. Just great fishing, just lots of fun. Well, for all the crew here and the guys, I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing. Thanks, guys. Okay.